All right, everyone. So I'm going to show you guys how to log in for your online testing because you are going to be logging in and testing online for all of your classes. So if you go to our school website and you scroll down and you find this quick links section, when you scroll through those quick links, you have an Eduphoria student login link. And so when you click on this student login, it's going to take you to the login page for you to log in to take your tests. So when you click on this login, again, you're, it's going to ask you to log in with a student ID and password. So remember, this is not the same login as if you were using your username and password for your email. It's going to be different. So you need to know your student ID number because your, your login for your student ID is going to be your username. So your student ID number, your six number ID number for school is going to be your login, your student ID. So say for instance, I my user, my school ID number is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's gonna be the username where it says student ID. And then the password is going to be the first letter, first initial of your first name, capitalized. So for me, it's D for Deborah. And then your first initial for your last name, capitalized, which is M. And then the last, all of the six numbers of your school ID. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you'll click log in. Okay, and remember, it's your student ID number for school is your username. And then the password is capital letters, no spaces, the first initial or the first letter of your first name, and then the first initial, first letter of your last name, and then the six numbers of your school ID number. Okay. If I click login right now, it's not going to work because this is not a true login. But once you log in, you're going to be able to see all of the tests and courses that are available for you. Okay. So I'm going to come over to a different page. So this is what a preview test is going to look like for you. So you'll find whatever one is labeled for me. As you can see, this is not my test. I'm not going to show you what my test is. But my test at the end will say Miller. There's actually going to be two. You're going to have one that says Miller MC, which is multiple choice. And then you'll have another one that says Miller OER, which is your open-ended response. So there's going to be two of them that you're going to have to complete today. Okay. So once you open it up and you start with your questions, you can see all the numbers down here on the bottom. And when you mouse over them, it tells you that they're unanswered. And so these are the numbers of questions that you have in your quiz and your test. And so there's 10 questions in this test. You also have the option to change the color of your theme. And so when you click on this, if for some reason the white on black, it bothers your eyes, you can change the different colors. So that way it doesn't bother your eyes as much. Okay. You also have the speaking options. So I'm going to open up those options for some of the students so that way it can speak the answers for you. And then when you click these options, you can adjust the volume, you can adjust the speed, and then you can also change the language to Spanish or English. Okay. You even have the option to change if it's a male or female speaking in. So I'll show you what that sounds like right now. Okay. You have the option to zoom in and out to make the letters and the words bigger. All right. You'll have the option to add a note. I'm not too sure if this is notes specifically for me as the teacher or if they're notes for yourself while you are taking the test. But I'm going to go ahead and click this speak button so that you can get a sense of what it kind of sounds like. Hopefully it works. What is the most basic and of course a student will see uh, the speech, text to speech feature icon uh, listed by the questions. If it is allowed or if it's not allowed, if they hover over, it'll say resource item cannot be read. Um, but if it is offered, then it will be displayed. Use fossils and best vacation ever. To answer the following question, which of the following is an idea presented in both fossils and best vacation ever? Leyendo el título del pasaje y los subtítulos, el lector puede saber que 
Alguien hace un nuevo tipo de envase de agua. So, depending on what the teacher's feature has, it will actually translate the whole entire sentence into Spanish and it'll read it in Spanish to you. So, just depending on what the teacher allows will depend on what you'll get to do. And you also have this option, if you see this little negative bar, you can eliminate some of those answers. So, if you know for a fact it's not pattern, you can cross it out. You know for a fact that it's not color, you can cross it out. And so you, you're eliminating those, those options for yourself, okay? You also have the other option to flag your, your question. So say, for instance, you really, really don't know and you want to kind of just move on for time purposes, you can flag this answer, click Next, and along the bottom where the numbers are, you can actually see that number one still has that flag, okay? So you can do the number two. So I really wanted to show you guys what it looked like when you're taking the test and you're getting ready to submit. Unfortunately, the video that I have, it kind of covers up the bottom where all of the tab buttons are and all of those buttons are that you would see on the, t on the student side. So if you look down at the bottom, kind of underneath the, the, the play button, I guess you could say, you have all of those, those numbers, you've got the next button, and then you also have here at the very end, it's a white box with a little toggle arrow, like a navigation arrow, that says review and submit. And so that is going to be the button that you click when you are finished with your test. And so it's going to have you review it before you submit it. And so this is what it will look like. Say, for instance, you flagged one of your questions because you weren't sure what the answer was, but you never went back to answer it. When you review it, it is going to show you one, two, and three were answered. Four was flagged, and it is unanswered. And so you'll be able to click on that number, and it'll take you directly to that question. So that way you can go back to the question, and then you'll be able to answer it. Okay. And then once again, once you've answered the question, you've clicked review and submit along the top or along the bottom here. You can't see it because it's covered up. It'll say submit for score. Once you click the submit for score, it's going to have another confirmation. So it's going to ask you, are you absolutely sure you want to submit your answers? And then from there, you will click OK. And so once you've clicked OK, you've submitted it for a score. It's going to take you back to, oops, back to your list. And so this is what it's going to look like when you log in. It'll take you to where it says select a test to take. And if it's closed, you've already completed it, submitted it for scoring. You're not going to have anything listed there. And so this student here has nothing to take anymore. And so once you've gotten your test completed, you can go ahead and click that log off button. The OER is a question that you're going to be like typing in an answer for. And so you, you'll still have all of those extra little features along the top, but you'll have this answer over here on the right hand side. So here you will have what the actual question is, the information about it. You will have to read through it. Mine won't have this. Mine's going to be pretty simple. This is an art two class. And so when you come over to the right hand side to, um, respond, you'll have the ability to type in and respond your answer. Okay, and then of course again you'll be able to click the next or the submit or complete button and then you'll be able to submit it. And of course once you submit it, it will close this test and it will take you back to the list of tests that you have for the rest of your classes that are open.